No state has a right to exist, not the Soviet Union, not Czechoslovakia, not the Zionist apartheid state of Israel. A lot of people think that the phrase from the river to the sea is racist and anti-Semitic. Do you? Are there really a lot of people? I appreciate there are a lot of people in the media bubble, in the political <coughs> class, who at least pretend to. Uh, but what is objectionable about people being free between a river and a sea? Jewish it, people think it's intimidatory, well, and they think it's not, uh, not the uh, Jewish people. On, not the Jewish people on the demonstrations for Gaza yeah. chanting it. Some Jewish people say that they find it uh, these things, but is, is that something worth respecting? Uh, no, because the Palestinians have a right to be free, and they have a right to be free between the river and the sea. Now, if you're really asking me what should be the final uh, state of affairs in Israel-Palestine, well, my, my position is quite well known. I think there should be one democratic and secular state between the river and the sea. And if I was doing their marketing, I'd call it the Holy Land. So you don't want Israel to exist? I, well, no state has a right to exist. Not the Soviet Union, not Czechoslovakia, not the Zionist apartheid state of Israel. I believe that the best solution for everybody is, as it was in South Africa, freed from apartheid, a democratic state where white people and black people, Jews, Christians, Muslims, live as equal citizens under the law. That's what I believe. I appreciate you don't believe it and that there are others who don't believe it, but it's a legitimate view. It's one that has already been adjudged uh, in law in Britain uh, to be a legitimate one, and I hold it, and I got a mandate for it tonight.